What is going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. Today I'm talking early season teal ID tips. So if you have early teal season in your state, you're going to want to pay attention and watch this video. So let's start out with the basics. There's three species of teal in North America you might come across during early teal season and they are blue wings, cinnamon, and green wings. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to lump in the cinnamons with the blue wings because they look very similar early season. So during early teal season, all three of these species are going to be more of a drab brownish color and not colorful like they are later in the season during as it gets closer to the breeding season. So I'm going to go over a variety of characteristics to look for to help you distinguish between early season teal and other duck species you may encounter out in the marsh. The first of which is size. Teal are among the smallest species of ducks in North America and you can use this to your advantage when comparing big flocks. You might have mallards mixed in or shovelers or wood ducks or all kinds of other ducks during early teal season and if you're seeing the smaller ones more than likely those are teal but do not rely on this solely because if you don't have anything for scale you may not be able to accurately identify them as teal it definitely takes some time to get that scale pick that scale up in your head even for seasoned duck hunters it takes a little while to get that scale back and you, then you can pick them out once you kind of get that in combination with the following characteristics as well so the next characteristic is color. Unfortunately, most of the ducks this time of year are gonna look very similar in color. They're all gonna be a brownish color, teal included. And how you pick them out is you're gonna look at their wings. Teal, blue wings, and cinnamons are gonna have a blue patch on the top of their wing and then a green speculum, kind of a darker emerald green colored speculum. And that'll help you distinguish that those are blue wings. Green wings are gonna have a green speculum with a couple little bars and that'll help you pick those out as green wings. Now, there are other species that both have green speculums and blue patches on their wings. Most notably is the shoveler. Also, pintails have a green speculum as well. The next characteristic is shape, and ducks come in all kinds of different shapes. And this can help you, if not really identify teal, it can help you identify what is not a teal. So, a teal, for the shapes you wanna look for, they have the typical dabbler bill, a short neck, and a tail that comes to a point. Not a very long point, if it comes to a long point, it's gonna be a pintail. If it has a long neck, also a good chance it's a pintail. If it has a bill that's kind of ovulate or spoon-shaped, shovel-shaped, it's gonna be a shoveler. Do not shoot those. If it has a long square tail, it's gonna be a wood duck. And then you can look at the head shape as well. Teal aren't gonna have hoods, wood ducks will. So as we're going through these, you can kind of see how they stack up on top of each other. So you start out with the size, then you go shape, color, and then you can process of elimination. You can see if those birds buzzing around or in your decoy spread are teal or not. Now we'll go on to the next one and that is sound. So teal make a variety of sounds. Uh, Drake blue wings kind of make a nasally whistle sound. Drake green wings make a really simple sound to imitate on a whistle and it's just a peep. It's just <whistles> and compare that to actual green wings. And then blue wings, the hens, it's just a, this is just a blue wing teal call here. So I'll do my best imitation. And it's just something like that. So if you're hearing little peeps or a raspy kind of a more than likely that's a teal. You'll hear them on the marsh all the time. When you get out there before shooting light, uh, they'll talk, you know, they're very talkative. So if you hear a bird in your decoys making that noise and then you combine it with the size and the shape and all that, then you can, once again, just adds to your, the confidence that that bird in your decoy spread is a teal. Conversely, you can also use other species sounds like a wood duck. They have a very distinctive whistle sound as do pintail, kind of a fluttering whistle sound. And then mallards, you know, the drake and then the, just a mallard quack. It's a lot different sounding than a teal. So the next characteristic to look for to help with early teal season ID is flocks and in-flight movement. And what I mean by this is teal flocks are going to be tight, compact. They're going to have a fair number of birds. They're not going to usually be in pairs or singles, although that doesn't necessarily eliminate if it is a teal. I mean, I've had plenty of singles and pairs come in over the years. But if you're seeing big flocks, you know, anywhere from 5 to 30, and they're just erratic movement, acrobatic dipping, flying low, just kind of doing all kinds of crazy motions, more than likely those are teal. And then, you know, you can look for the speculum, you can look for the wing patch, you can look at the shape, the size. A lot of times teal flocks, they'll just dump in. I can't tell you how many times 
you'll just be sitting there all of a sudden whoosh, and the teal just dump in right there and then you get up and look and they take off sometimes or they'll touch down real quick and then they'll just splash right off again like they're just like that there it's really fast erratic movements that's why sometimes they're called rice rockets or marsh rockets because they just dump in like that as well so this is another important thing to know going forward for early teal season id and it is other common species you may encounter out in the marsh. And I've touched on a few of these already. The first of which is a wood duck. Wood ducks have a darker blue speculum. They have the little hood on their heads. They have the distinct whistle, and then they have the long square tail. These are one of the most commonly mistaken birds during early teal season. The other is the Northern Shoveler, which has that very distinctive bill, the shovel shaped bill, but it has the blue wing patches and a similar speculum to blue wing and cinnamon teal. Shovelers are also a little larger, so be sure to look at the bill and look at the size to make sure that's not a shoveler you're pulling the trigger on. Some other common species you may encounter in the marsh early season are the pintail, and they're gonna have the long neck. That's honestly the best way to identify them early season. They may have a long tail, a sprig, or in a hen's case, you know, it just comes to a longer point. Um, they also have that distinct whistle sound. So you can hear that it's like a rolling, fluttering whistle sound. The final species that you may commonly encounter during early teal season is the mallard. They're one of the biggest dabbling ducks out there in North America, and they have a very dark blue indigo speculum and a very distinct quack, and then the drakes have the jeet as well. So you shouldn't mistake those for teal, but you may encounter them in the teal marsh this upcoming season. Finally, let's talk some shooting tips so you can make sure that you're absolutely positive not to miss ID and shoot a bird that's not a teal this upcoming season. Starting with, if you're unsure of what it is, there's no shame in waiting. Don't take any passing shots if you are unsure of what that duck is. Also, could be low light. You know, some, some states have teal season, like in Nebraska, for instance, we can shoot teal 30 minutes before sunrise. Now, those first couple minutes, especially if it's cloudy, you're just going to see silhouettes and it might not be the best way to identify if it's a teal. And I've held off many a time until that were in my decoys because I wanted to make absolutely sure that they were teal. Going off that, let them decoy. If you're unsure when they're flying by with their erratic movements and just in and out and dumping in the decoys and then popping back up, let them sit in the decoys, put some binoculars on them, make sure that those birds are teal. You're looking at the bill, you're listening, you're maybe looking for wing patches, you're looking for the tail. Just make sure that those are teal before you shoot. And letting them decoy is another way to do that. And finally, don't flock shoot. There's other species that can get mixed in with teal flocks. Just last year, for instance, I had a widgeon come in with a flock of teal, had to tell my buddy like, hey, watch the widgeon. We could see the white wing bars and how much bigger it was. So when the widgeon was further back, that's when we took our shots so we didn't accidentally collateral it. Not flock shooting, picking out one single bird. You'll be more efficient shooting and you'll be less likely to have a costly ticket going out this teal season. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps you this upcoming teal season and we'll catch you out there. See ya.